Hey what's up guys, in this video we are gonna create simple punching or hand to hand combat system for your game in Unreal. I'm gonna be using a third person template but you can use first person or any other if you want to. The process is gonna be the same. So first we are gonna need an animation. If you followed any of my other combat tutorials then you're gonna know that we need animation montage. So we are gonna right click our animation then we are gonna go into create and then create animation montage. And you can name it whatever you want, I'm just gonna leave it as default and open it. Once you have your animation open, we can pause it and I'm gonna want to add a new notify track, so we have two of them. So we are gonna right click, add notify, new notify and I'm gonna call this punch begin. And then I'm gonna right click and add another notify and I'm gonna call it punch end. Then we just want to line them up with the punching animation. So about here I want the punch to begin and then I want it to end right after so we don't have too much of a space between. We can save this. Then we are gonna go into the content browser. We are gonna right click and we are gonna create blueprint interface. So blueprints and blueprint interface and I'm gonna call this hand to hand. And we can open this. Then once you have it open we want to create two functions. The first one is gonna be punch start function. And then we are gonna click on the plus and add the second function which is gonna be punch end function. Compile it and save. Then we are gonna go into our character blueprint and I'm just gonna quickly go into class settings. Under interfaces I want to search for my hand to hand. And we are gonna add that interface we just created. And we are gonna go into our viewport and we need to add a collision to our punches. So we are gonna select the mesh and click on add and then search for sphere. And we want the sphere collision. Then we want to attach it to the socket so I'm just gonna search for hand. I'm gonna just attach it to the right hand and then under sphere radius I'm gonna lower it to something like 16. So it just about fits our hand and I can just move it a little bit like this. Obviously you can just adjust it to whatever you want. With that we can then go into the details and scroll all the way down. Then under collisions if we want to change it from overlap all dynamic into no collision. Compile and save and then we can go into the event graph. And we need an event for our attacks I'm just gonna go with left mouse button. Then we want to drag from it and search for do once. From completed the drag and search for play and montage. Then we just want to drag out and search for delay. And we want to plug the return value into the delay. And then once completed we want to go and circle it back into the reset. Now we need to slot in our animation montage so I'm just gonna search for my animation. Okay, so what this does is basically we are gonna trigger an attack with our keybind. You can have your own custom keybind or just hard coded like me. And then we are gonna play animation. We are doing do once just so that we don't play animation multiple times and glitch out. And then the delay serves here so we wait for the animation to be actually over and then we can attack again. That's why we go into the reset. So after this, what we need to do is we are gonna go into the interfaces under here. And then we have these two functions, so we are gonna right click and implement both of them. Then we are gonna get the sphere and drag it in. And then we are gonna select the sphere again, scroll all the way down and we want on component begin overlap. Then we are gonna drag from the sphere and we are gonna search for set collision profile name. And we can just duplicate it. We want to plug it in both of these events and then make sure that the sphere is plugged into both of these as well. So from the punch start function we want to change the collision profile name to overlap all. And then in the punch end function we want to change it to no collision. Then from this event right here we want to drag out and search for branch. Then from true we want to drag out and search for do once. And then from completed we want to search for apply damage. Then from the set collision profile name, under here from the punch end function, we want to drag out and plug it into the reset. Then from the other actor here, we want to drag out and search for actor has tag and plug it into the branch. And here you can select whatever tag you want. I'm just gonna use enemy tag, but you can obviously have your own tag. And then from the other actor, we are gonna drag out again and plug it into the damaged act. So we can compile and save. So what this does is basically this events trigger whenever we reach that point into the animation and we are gonna do that in a second. And what it does is it activates and deactivates our collision. That way it's not permanently active and we can just do damage randomly by walking over actors. Then the punch end function triggers at the end of it. So we want to deactivate it. 
And that also means that the attack is over, which means we can reset the function and we can do a damage again. Then on component begin overlap sphere, this just allows us to do damage to whatever actor overlapped with our sphere during the attack. So now we are gonna need to go into our animation blueprint. So I'm gonna select my mesh and then I'm gonna under anim class in the animation blueprint, I'm gonna just browse to asset and then open it. In here, what we want to do is we just need to get our animation notify. So I'm gonna search for anim notify. So I'm gonna search for punch begin. Then we are gonna search for punch end. Now what we want to do is we want to search for get player character. Then drag out from the return value and search for our player character and cast to it. So for me that's third person character. We can plug it in like this. Then from our character we want to drag out and search for our punch start function. We want to get the message. So it has this blue envelope on top of this. Then we can get these two nodes and control D to duplicate and plug them into the punch end. Then we drag from the player again and search for punch end function. And we want to get a message again. So then we can just compile and save. Okay, and then we are basically done. So I'm just gonna go into my third person character and I'm just gonna, in the apply damage, I'm just gonna change this to let's say 10 so we can see that we are actually doing damage. I'm gonna compile and save. And then when we are in the play mode, as you can see, when I left click, we are punching. And then if I go to this target dummy actor that I have here, we can punch it. And as you can see, it reacts and we print out the amount of damage that we do. So we know it works just like we want this to. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.